Hello YouTube. Um, okay, so this video is gonna be devoted to showing you all what kind of regimen I have. It's very um, simple. I don't like a whole bunch of things because you know I have to go to work in the morning. But um, I'm just gonna kind of go through what I do on a regular basis. Okay, so I just finished co-washing my hair and I dried some of the excess water out. And this is what I have to work with. Now, so what I do to kind of, the first thing I put on my hair is this whipped shea butter, which I make and put in a container. Um, and it lasts a very long time. Uh, I like it a lot. And I'm at the end of the video, I'm going to put a link so you all can see where I got the idea from how to make it. So I take about this much. And I rub it in my hands until it completely melts away. Well, not really melts away, but until it's very uh, liquidy in your hands. It should be like, kind of like that. Start here, and I just rub through my hair. And I just keep doing this until I feel as though my hair has absorbed it for the most part. Um, my hair is not that long, so it doesn't take very long to, to do this. So... I'm going to probably just take a little bit more, that much, not that much, and rub it until it melts, and I'm going to put it more in the back, focus there. Alright, so then the next thing I do after I have this moisturizer in my hair, I use Eco Styler Gel made with olive oil, and this is what it looks like. It's very good. I've used a couple different gels. I used to use this, but I get better results from um, the Eco Styler gel. And it's cheaper, and you get more, and it does a better job, in my opinion. So that's what I've stuck to. And I take about this much to start. I just rub it in my hands. Now, I've seen different ways that some people apply the gel to get their curls defined. Some people, I've, I've seen a video where they talk about doing the rake and smooth, and some people actually use a Denman brush growing through their hair um, to get curl definition. But I found that I, I just don't really need to do that. It could be the length of my hair, or it could be the texture of my hair. I'm not sure. I took a little bit more. It's not a lot. Okay. Um, Alright, and because of my camera, you can't necessarily see the curl de definition, so I will be taking pictures for you all to see kind of like the, the finished product. But before I do that, also something I do, I... Uh, got this idea of pulling out my baby hairs in the front from Shea Coco Love. Um, I'll also put her link at the end of the video as well. Just kind of something you can do um, because I know some people feel as though having the whole like short hair is kind of masculine looking so they'll wear headbands and stuff and I mean I don't have anything against headbands I'll do that but sometimes I just like to wear it just you know, out, but to make it a little bit more feminine, I will pull my baby hairs out. And what I use for that is the Icy Fantasia Gel. And where is it? Um, I use a toothbrush, a toothbrush that I do not brush my teeth with. Okay. And this is really simple. I will just put a little bit of gel along the edges of my hair. Take this toothbrush, kind of brush them down. And then kind of do two of these and just push this kind of remainder back and do a little side thing. <laughs> I don't really even know what it's called. But it looks it looks cute and, and a lot of people like it. A lot of people think that it looks really nice. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. And brush 
push this down. Brush this last one back and then just kind of make a design. It could be anything. I kind of just do an S looking type thing. And then also, sometimes I'll just pull out one random like piece of hair, put some gel on it, and kind of define this curl by twirling it with my finger. Pull it down so it doesn't scrunch back up, and just slowly let it go back. And I'll do this on both sides. And I know you can't see it on the camera, but I will take pictures so you can see what I'm talking about. fix it the way that I want it to be and like I said you'll see the results better in um, a, the picture instead of the camera and like I said I've said in my previous videos the curl pattern across my head is different so this side of my head looks shrunken in while the other one sticks out because I have a different curl pattern on both sides but um, I hope this is a little bit um, helpful for some of my friends and whoever else is watching that is kind of just starting and they don't necessarily know what to do it's really simple to do it's not very expensive and it's not very high maintenance at all so um, yeah I hope this helped you guys alright bye <laughs>